<clears throat> hey guys and welcome to today's video now today's video is slightly a little bit different formatting than what we usually do on the channel i'm going to be showing you some procreate stuff as well <clears throat> traditional in the video so today's topic i want to go ahead and talk about is how to create cor uh, correct your drawing redraw it and by correcting in the second drawing and improving yourself um in today's video this is how you can improve how you can get confident with yourself and art and that's how you can um improve on that matter and learn something i've been looking for a way on how to grow in my art and to like um not necessarily have epiphanies along the way but like to uh, learn something to grow as an artist and to go ahead and correct the drawing mistakes you made um, in the first drawing you've done, which leads me to this point. Um, so I had gotten a projector for my birthday and with the projector everything wasn't great and I could make your drawing really big and I was like, yes, I could draw the bros. Well, nice step is, um, this is my first attempt at a bigger drawing, and this took me literally a week to draw. Um, but it's not perfect. It's not what I had hoped. Um, meaning, I made a couple of mistakes. I um, needed to learn how to actually draw all I wrote and not rely on projector per se, but to learn the guidelines and what it takes to draw all rows. Um, and I just want to quickly say that roses are hard. Um, they're challenging and they're one of the most difficult flowers to draw. Um, and I didn't know that. I was going head on in. I was like, I'm going to do this. I'm being really excited. Um, and I'm still I am. Um, but in a way that's a little bit of a different approach. <clears throat> so with that being said, if you see these little sections down here, I had, this would have been fine if I hadn't added this um, part right here. Like, I didn't know how to draw the petals or I didn't know. I basically just winged it and, you know, kind of went, um, might not have any knowledge of the rose petals or anything. But you'll see later in the video of the processes I have put into without using the projector and I was just guessing at the rose and I was at first I was very intimidated by it and I was like okay I'm gonna do this I'm just gonna take a long time but um basically I'm very proud of myself of taking the endurance and everything of learning this but this is where the second drawing will come in where procreate will come in and everything so I went ahead and took a picture of this put it in procreate drew on top of my drawing and corrected it. I will show you how to do that on one of my drawings that I had done a while back and um, we're going to correct that drawing and procreate. So I just wanted to show you the first drawing attempt I had done of a rose um, and everything. So this is my second drawing attempt at a rose and I say even I showed my dad and he's like, wow. Um, but definitely an improvement. This could stand to be in the center of the rows instead of shifted that way. But uh, I'd say this is off to a great start and uh, it's a lot better. And I had used Procreate um, before um, and tried to shape in the petals and everything that um, everyone would call for. So. I was really excited the improvement I had made in this drawing. I'm hesitant to start over the drawing because I know the guidelines and I know uh, the guidelines of the rows um, that you can use. I tried doing heart shaped uh, petals, but those are very tricky and I'm not complaining or anything, but it was very tricky. So um, she explained it so well that I was able to understand um the majority of the rows but second attempt of drawing bigger and trying to scale in the drawing and everything so 
and second attempt i might do a third attempt uh in the drawing portion of the video so i'm going to show you a couple of studies now of what i think is an improvement and i had done that in watercolor so i'm trying to um keep my drawing from falling over um there by my desk so i'm going to show you a couple of drawings of um that i had done last night i wrote and think they're just studies i had done in watercolor um i'm very happy with this and this is definitely an improvement um i learned the guidelines of drawing the rows and yeah so i want to go ahead and go to procreate we're going to pick out the drawing that needs a little bit of improvement a little bit of a change and which is a unicorn drawing attempt um and then and i i love this technique because you can change and grow as an artist by doing this if you want to correct the work i feel like i became a more um acceptance of failure and drawing and you know um i was just very happy with that uh learning pro part of art um before i learned the trick in correcting your art um i had basically the notes of failure you can't fail you can't like I don't think it's failure, like, um, but now I'm come to the terms of accepting failure and accepting, um, the part that you're not perfect and that you can grow as an artist, it's only room to grow and, um, yeah, so these, I wanted to show you this first, um, of the horse drawing before I show you the unicorn I tried to attempt. Um, these, but these two drawings right here are a game changer for me because I finally learned the horse anatomy. This can stand to be a lot more, um, rounded, but, or less squared, I guess. Um, but I'm very happy with these two drawings. But before I studied on horses, um, I did this drawing right here. Um, so I'm going to take a picture of this and... Like, I can already tell that the neck is in the wrong place. Um, the neck should be a little bit more over here. So we're going to correct that and, um, and procreate. And I'll show you how to correct it with green and everything. But the neck should be more right here. This should be, um, the eyes should be, like, kind of, like, hold on. Let me, um, grab my pencil here and we can do you can always you necessarily do not need procreate for um drawing or something but you can always use tracing paper to correct your work um but i'm going to show you how the eyes should have gone um by doing a little sketch um this is a long clip for introduction but so say this is how i would correct it um something like that and then the eye can make guidelines or something sorry it's a little bit small can't really tell um but the eye should be something like this or it's a little bit small and a little bit and then something like that and then the neck Let's turn this into a unicorn real quick. And then the neck, our, um, the jawline should be right about there. And then the neck should be right about there. Draw the ear. And then this is how I would draw it now. Um, let me just show you um, a little bit like that. That's how I would draw it now. You can always do a second sketch to improve. Um, like, this should be, um, kind of, like, coming around this way, um, a little bit, but that's how I correct it, and, you know, I love learning. I want to go ahead and take a picture of this, play Procreate. You'll see the Procreate screen, uh, the drawing, and we're going to go ahead and do that, so. Okay, hey guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the screen recording here, um, that way you can also see a... Uh, way to correct your drawings, um, 
this way and also the screen recording is how I do it. So right now, I am going to go ahead. This one is my 8x11 paper canvas I have going on and Procreate. I just went ahead and did that. I'm going to undo that. And then we're going to go ahead and put insert photo. I've already taken a photo of the drawings I want to correct. And we're going to go ahead. I just did the wrench and did insert photo and then did the photo um, of my drawing. Now how I'm going to be doing this, I have this recorded on my screen as well. And also you guys will be seeing it too. Um, so I want to go ahead and do that. Um, so I can explain as I go along process. Now this drawing I'm not necessarily happy with, like the neck. I want to go ahead and uh, show the corrections I would do in red. Um, that way you can see it and then I'll go ahead and draw over, um, what I would go ahead and draw over then. I'm going to use a hard airbrush for this one so you can see it. Um, I'm going to lower the opacity of my drawing, um, uh, which is right here. Um, and then create a new layer. You always want to create a new layer when you're doing this. And by the way, guys, if you have tracing paper, go ahead and use tracing paper over your drawing and do the same thing. Just the same technique and everything. Um, this is how you will approach a drawing and grow as an artist. Um, I would take a few Skillshare classes and, uh, this really helped me. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and focus on the head of the horse right now. And then we'll go with the neck and everything afterwards. Obviously, I did not finish this drawing because I was unsure of and everything. And I wasn't very happy with the placement of the eye. And I knew it was just all wrong and I wasn't very happy with. But we're going to go ahead and start correcting it. So, this one, I don't know, I'm going to add to that. So, this one, I don't know if you can see it, but um hopefully i went ahead and did a little a line going this way and then come over and then i'm kind of drawing the same shape of the horse head um but i'm going to erase that and make it a little bit no it should look a little like so far. So, with the eye, we're going to go ahead and correct the eye. So, the eye needs to be a little. I'm going to make it cartoon. When I was doing this drawing, I tried to make it realistic looking. Um, but you can see, like, the eye is coming like this. It really should be like that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make it cartoon because I refer to my unicorn, unicorn cartoon. Um, but we're going to go ahead and make it, I'm trying to, to figure out the iris, how I want to do it, but so, this is what it will look like. See, it's already looking better um, with it. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead. And now, as far as the unicorn horn, uh, we're going to go ahead and place the mouth part of it. Um, so, you can tell I didn't know how to draw the nostril of the horse. I'm going to go ahead and do it. Profile, color it in, and yeah. So, I'm going to go ahead and color it in. We're going to keep the mouth kind of the same, um, but I'm going to do it like that. So, um, oh my gosh, I did it on the wrong layer. I'll like check your layer, guys. I did it on the wrong layer here. So, we're going do it on the correct layer. So, this is the... Okay. 
See, the nostril, I didn't really know how to draw the nostril of uh, the horse. Um, going to color it in, and even then, I'm just going to say it. Um, looking like the bar of uh, the horse. Um, I even might be making some mistakes now as I'm looking back at this, and um, but I can go ahead and prove of that later. Um, but at this point, let's go ahead and put the ear in, and then we'll go ahead to enter the neck. The neck comes down here, and it's not, it's all wrong, but we're going to go ahead and correct the ear. So the ear should be, make sure I'm on the right layer. See, the ear is facing this way, like it's turning that way, um, but the ear in general should be facing that way, um, like forward profile view, view type, so there's the ear. So overall, I'm, I keep turning off the layer so I can see the correction. Um, and this is how it's looking like so far, it's turning out to be like a horse, so, uh, or a unicorn. Um, but this is how I go about correcting my drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw the main um, I'm saving the neck for last because that's the major adjustment, um, actually to the unicorn now, or the horn. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move the unicorn horn a little bit like this. And then something like that. Um... And there's, I keep turning off the layer, the more, more, uh, the more important is you want to, um, keep turning off your layers so you can see the improvement you're making of the unicorn or whatever you're drawing. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and draw the mane of the unicorn, um, and then we'll go on to the neck. I'm saving the neck going off because that's kind of like the finale of the drawing, um. So I'm drawing the unicorn, pretty much the same. Um, so now I'm going to go ahead and draw the neck. I'm going to come down here and draw the mane. Um, keeping the mane the same as the drawing. So now we're going to go ahead and draw the neck like this. So, and then we're going to go ahead and draw the rest. Of the unicorn's mane. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and turn off the drawing. Um, so I'm thinking. This is already looking a little bit better, but I feel like, um, this is where a reference would be helpful. Um, I want to go ahead and, yeah, so. This is how I would correct the drawing. Uh, obviously, the nostril needs to be a little bit smaller, I think. Um, the neck is fine. Um, maybe if we do the neck a little bit, um, there we go, I think. Now it's more natural, okay. Um, that was missing. And then we're going to go ahead and... There we go. Now it's looking a lot better. But this is how I would draw it now. Um, compared to... Now we're going to take this drawing, move it up a little bit, and we're going to... Put it aside. And we're going to move this. Okay. Okay, hey guys, and welcome to this part of the video. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I was um, filming on screen for you guys. And uh, sorry for the showing the pictures there, but I was just basically grabbing my uh, drawing of the past drawing, and yeah. So I'm really excited to show you this technique. I've been taking on sculpture class and how to fix your mistakes. Number one, as I tried to explain in the previous clip. Um, for this one is you want to correct the mistakes. You can use tracing paper as well and uh, correct your mistakes. That way you'll know what to look for um, in your drawing next time. So I just want to say there's room for improvement and to accept failure, failure uh, as an artist is one thing and that shows maturity and ways that you can grow and learn as you continue your art. Sometimes art can be frustrating, especially if you're learning something new. Uh, like this week, I'm tackling how to draw roses, as you saw at the beginning of the video. Um, those have always been tricky for me, and I'm just now nailing roses, I think, and trying to challenge myself in that area. And roses are hard. Um, but, you know, as you continue to learn and grow as an artist, um, you can learn new things and try new subject matter and... Uh, this was supposed to be a unicorn, but uh, realistically, but I didn't really get that in this drawing, and you know, that's okay, you can always try again. Um, is there such thing as an eraser? Yes, there is, and eraser can be your best friend at some moments, but um, if sometimes if you're too much into the drawing and you don't want to start over, go ahead and start over, um, take a picture of it, and put it in Procreate. And see if you can correct the drawing mistakes you made and learn from that. And then go back on a new sheet of paper and take those um, corrections into the second drawing. Um, if you want to, if you feel like you're still stuck, uh, keep doing it until you improve. Um, you know, before I was not accepting a failure or anything like that. I, you know, didn't know what it was like to have a drawing that doesn't turn out. Um, however, I don't want to sound all cocky or anything, but, uh, I had got a projector for my birthday, and I'm really grateful for that, and I'm drawing bigger drawings, and drawing bigger drawings, you have more room for mistakes. Um, uh, so, which is a learning curve for me when it comes to drawing roses, and, uh, right now I'm sitting down at my desk, and I had a new attitude towards drawing now, like, there's room for definitely mistakes and to learn from it and draw again. Now I'm going into a drawing with a whole load of pressure off of my chest when drawing because, you know, if you're drawing bigger, there's going to be mistakes. And, you know, that's just a part of it. And I've been learning that. And, you know, I can always try again. It's always a new, fresh of paper. Um, so I want to tell you guys to relax as well. I'm telling myself to relax and you know drawing it should be fun and it's a new challenge when you're trying to draw bigger uh, drawings and you know I've been working on the rose drawing for a week now and I didn't really study on it I didn't know the techniques or guidelines to draw roses I just went with one class and I realized I needed more classes um, as you see here I'm correcting the neckline and uh, at the, towards the end of the video, I have put a final picture of the redraw. Um, I was going to do a speed paint. I might do a redraw in video towards um, another time because this, this video is long enough for you guys. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video of correcting. Like the mouth part of the unicorn here uh, could be a little bit better. Um, even in this stage of sketching, um, I can see improvement, and um, it can be even more improved of uh, the mouth area. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Relax, take your time, um, enjoy your art. Um, I did like the hair there, so I don't know if I put that final drawing. So if you guys have any questions or anything like that, let me know. And you can move your picture along the side, see the improvement that way. Um, so yeah, guys, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Here is the final picture of my, um, 
drawing I have very much improved and like it and don't forget to subscribe.